Ladies and gentlemen, we do a uh, segment on the uh, uh, program, and it's called uh, Small Town uh, News, and uh, it's, uh, we've done it for uh, 25 years, and it's hilarious. People love the uh, segment, and it's uh, small town newspapers from all over the country, and there's interesting little items, and sometimes, I remember the night a woman laughed so hard she cracked her sternum? <laughs> That's how funny it is. Well, we have a spinoff. You know, when you have a successful segment or a successful TV show, they will spin off a character, and then you have a, another a successful uh, segment or TV show. Well, we have that for you tonight. In, in culling and the screening all of the small town uh, news periodical items, we've come across a lot of pictures of people across the country who look like me. So tonight, <laughs> the segment is Guys Who Look Like Dave. Here we go, Guys Paul. Get ready. This is a good one. The first one from the Sun, Osceola, Wisconsin. Take a look. Local chiropractor Steve Bont. You see? Kinda. What do you think? Yes. No, definitely. He is one of the guys. There's one of the guys. There's the tie. I like the tie. That could yes. be me. Hair. Kind of. Definitely. Something wrong with his hair. Like there's something wrong with my hair. <laughs> Glasses, yes, yeah, glasses. Bottom, yeah. Other than that, a much better looking man than I am. No, no. Okay, that's number one. Yeah. Uh, here we go. A general manager and head coach of the Fargo Force hockey team, Dean Blais. B L A I S. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Here we go. Guys who look like Dave. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hey, we ought to get the coach in here to host one night. <laughs> Let's widen out and take a look at that. Night, nice for the coach to dress up for the photo shoot. <laughs> this is from Texas Monthly Magazine. Well, that's a fine, that's a fantastic publication, Texas Monthly. I know Monthly. the magazine, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> we have a uh, plastic surgeon by the name of Dr. Howard Tobin. Howard Tobin, guys who look like Dave. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I guess, kind of. Seems to me, though, if you kind of looked like me and you were a plastic surgeon, there'd be something you could do about it. <laughs> you don't have to live your life like that. And uh, this is the chancellor of the University of Wisconsin, uh, John Wiley. That's, that's a big, prestigious uh, university and, and quite a, a, a position to hold. Guys who look like Dave, here's John Wiley out there in Madison, Wisconsin. Let's take a look. Oh, this is real. I don't know. A dead ringer. Again, the hair. Degrees. Yes. Yes. Standing behind some kind of barbed wire thing. Apparently so. <laughs> He's yeah. been incarcerated or impounded. <laughs> I don't, <clears throat> don't know exactly what's going on there. But I think we're finding that the older the people, the greater the similarity. <laughs> no, that's just your insecurity. Thank you. This is from the Huntsville Times, Huntsville, Alabama, and it's a religious columnist by the name of Larry Sisterman. Well, already the name is similar. Sisterman, Letterman. Yes, yes. Sister Letterman. Sister. Larry Sisterman, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Really? I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> Similar in the sense that it's another male human with glasses, I suppose. <laughs> this is from the Lamar Democrat, Lamar, Missouri, a doctor named John W. Graham. I don't think so. I mean, really? Not even close. Not even close. Yeah, not even how, did that, how did that even get in the pile? Not even close. <laughs> This gentleman, God bless him, has had a hair transplant. Transplant. Total transplant. Yeah, it's kind of up there high on his forehead, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's not, you know, it's back. It's way mm. back. That's what I just said. <laughs> and, but he looks very happy. <laughs> okay, so that's a no. Bears that's no, no resemblance to no, you. No, none whatsoever. No. Uh, the North Manchester News and Journal, North Manchester, Indiana. Oh, North Manchester, Indiana, my home state of Indiana. The I see. State, so. So Thank you. I would have... Let's see what we have here. This is uh, Ryan Warner. He's a banker. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Warner. <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on. 
I mean, let's just let's just start photographing people who get off a bus. I mean, this is this is not even. Excuse me, sir. Uh huh. Here, put on these glasses so we can take your picture. That's the, <laughs> not even close. Uh, okay, this is from the Arlington Times, uh, Arlington, Washington. A columnist named Bob Greff. Graff? Bob Graff. There's Bob. Guys who look like Dave. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I started at the wrong uh, end of the pile. Uh, the cabinet, uh, Milford, New Hampshire, Milford Police Captain Christopher Nervick. Oh, this is from New Hampshire. Guys who look like Dave. Christopher Nervick. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, you can, you can feel the air leaking out of the theater. <laughs> the farther we go, the less interested... Well, no, that's true. <clears throat> I must have started at the wrong... Because the... Uh... The title of the piece is Guys yeah, Who Look, look like, like Dave. Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we started big. I think we, <laughs> we set the bar too high. That's what happened. And, that, and now it's just, how about just guys? <laughs> the segment we call Guys. Okay, this is uh, the uh, Copper Basin News, Kearney, Arizona. This is a candidate for Kearney Council named Sheila Stevenson. And again, I... <clears throat> oh! Uncanny, uncanny resemblance! <laughs> I'm you sorry. Know? Sheila, I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me, Sheila. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> Good luck in your candidacy there. <laughs> this is the Lansing State Journal, Lansing, Michigan. Uh, this is a... Uh, um, uh, well, this is... It's all very sad. It's a man in an, in an advertisement for assisted living. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Somebody tried to. <laughs> wow. Well, at least he's happy. He seems pretty happy. <laughs> it's very sporting of you. To put it that way. <laughs> no, you think he looks... No, he doesn't. <laughs> Listen, I want... Hey, Pops, like... how about another one of those ten best lists? <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. No. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> ten best lists. <laughs> and finally, well, and you know this has got to be the best one, because if, if this is the kicker... <clears throat> here we go. Guys who look like Dave, the Mariposa Gazette, Mariposa, California... This is from the sheriff's log. <laughs> and the, uh, the alleged incident was a guy who was throwing shingles, uh, shingles off of a roof. Guys who look like Dave. Let's take a look and see. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> there it is. And that's how we play. Guys! Guys! Oh!